Alright, here we go with the ladybug. She wants some ore, so let's give her some. Ladybug. Get some more! Yay! I want more! Finish what's on your plate first. Then you can have some more ore. But I want more ore now! Alrighty. Tell Yeti I said hello, thanks, so Yeti's the next one we're gonna find eventually. Okay. Sweet. So, that's why I wanted to do this after the Black Mage Village. Because also off screen, I had purchased some survival vests for everybody there. Because they didn't have them in Conde Petit. So now, look at this. He's already learned his magician shoes. Did she learn her? her? Yes, yeah, she did. Hold on a second. Who was it that I wanted to? Wait a second. Okay. No, oh, wait. Where, where's the um? Yeah, that's what I want to do. Want to take this off? Put something on. This doesn't really matter. She's got everything she can get. Um. Let's see. Let's just put on a coral ring just in case if she gets zapped. And I want him to finish up what he was learning before. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Where'd it go? Yeah, I want him to learn the long reach ability. And um, I'm going to do some AP farming between episodes so I can get Fabinho's auto reflect learned. Because, um, uh, we're going to be losing him in the next episode. So, there you go. And I want his auto-reflect to be learned so someone else can learn it. All right. So, I'll see you at the beginning of the next episode. All right. Hello, folks. And welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. It is now time to go and um, see if we can get past those two blockheads who are blockading my passage to the sanctuary. But first, I want to demonstrate a battle. I've been... I haven't done this, and I told you I've been going to do this, so I know we fought these guys before, whoever it is. I have yet to show off Ramu! Ramu, go! So yeah, I have failed to show off Ramu. So, it's important that I do this now, so... Here you go! Well... I thought there was more to that animation than that, but anyway... There you go! Thought I had to show it off. There's actually a good reason why I showed it off. Um, and you'll find out in a little bit, folks. And we get another Parado for our troubles. And I gave uh, Quinn a bunch of crappy equipment, so... So, Sanctuary's on the other side of that valley, huh? But the exit leading there from the upper floor is guarded by a dwarf who won't let us through. Twin dwarfies black way out from shop on right side. No can get through. Hmm. Let's just see how far we as we can get, folks. If not, we'll take them out. That's what I do. Take them out. So... All right, here we go. Let's. All right. Say so I want to get through here, pal. Y'all just step aside. All right, I gotta go for this Scottish accent again. Let's see if I can do this. 
Never. Only those who've received the ceremony can pass. That one's too bad. What the heck is that ceremony? Speak to his holiness. Where's his holiness? Ah, didn't get where he is. Alright, so... That's a lot of help there, pal. I can tell you where he is. He is back this way. Actually, I went... I went the farther way, but that's okay. No, actually, it's about the same. There's his holiness. It looks like he... Somebody like the Pope himself or something. Hey, mister, you that holy guy? <laughs> I love that. I love that question. You a holy guy. No, it's just Halloween. This is what I wear on Halloween for trick or treat. I, I'm Father David. David Heavenguard. I like it. So what are you doing hanging around this hallway? Well... A priest as much to worry about, you see? Yeah, whatever. Look, we just want to get past this village. Hmm. Tradition states that only those who undergo the ceremony can approach the sanctuary. So what the heck is this ceremony, anyway? Well, after a man and a woman are blessed in Holy Union, they, they live on Holy Pilgrimage to the sanctuary. So, basically, it's a wedding and a honeymoon, right? I did not, I did not get your words, lad, but methinks ye understand. So we can go, oh, so we can go to the sanctuary if we undergo that ceremony, right? Um, so that's the deal. Hmm, a man and a woman, huh? What do you think? Let's do it! Yeah. Say you want to be joined, eh? Ceremony's only for dwarves, you see. But we have so, so few young folk nowadays. We're doomed to 99 couples. I was worried about that very thing, so... What the harm? Now we can have a hundred of the ceremony. Yay! Hit the century mark. What's going on? Oh boy, here we go. Spirits of the mountain. mountain. Spirits of the wood. Uh, how did I get into this? Watch all this men and women as they begin their journey. Gotta do something about the, you Gotta do this just to get past the village, right? So, only a guy and a girl have the ceremony. Now, hold on a sec, Allison. Don't you get it? This is marriage. Marriage! I think you prefer, instead of the marriage spelled out, K I S S I N G. Oh, I forgot what song that was. No kidding, but we have to do it to go on, right? Yeah, but that's not reason enough. Oh, come on. What is she thinking? She's supposed to get angry and say no way. <laughs> in sickness and in death? Of course, we're just trying to get past this village. Have the strength to carry you through the trials? Could it be that she likes me? Add the wisdom to follow the path? Gotta admit, I was pretty deep that night in the Black Mage Village. Maybe that's when she fell for me. I'm such a stud. May the blessed old heaven be upon this man and woman. Stupid OBS. Always oh, cutting out at the wrong time. Allison, now we're man and wife. Time for the kiss! Clunk! Playing hard to get, eh? 
I would have gone for it too. Seamus Scapekeeper. <laughs> Happy fit. Now you need to announce they're joining to the twins at the other gate. Wait, you mean there's more stupid crap? We had to find a tradition, lad. My Scottish accent sucks. Ah, well, time for us really was to make the rounds, Allison. Remember, we're only married while we're here. Bliss is so fleeting. <laughs> Gerard, what are we supposed to do? Are you trying to run, <laughs> ruin our honeymoon? Well, you no, can just leave us behind. Don't worry, I'll figure something out. Uh, so, I've always done this option where Mane and Fabinho get married. But I didn't know you, you don't have to actually have them get married. You know, I'm a very um, strict Christian conservative traditionalist. And I don't believe in that stuff, so... They're not getting married under my watch. So let's go see the twins and see uh, what we can work out, folks. Oh, yeah, this way. Sorry about that. Hi, hey guys. We're the newlyweds. Gerard and Allison. Rally ho! Happy Happy fit, Atani Sintuelli, then Aria. That's right, will you let us through now? Rally, oh, of course. Say a journey to you both. Or both of you. Or whatever. Let us be off, my darling. Thief! Huh? Mark, hurry! Oh. No, no, that's not her voice. Her voice is. That's her voice. That's going to kill me the rest of the game, too. Stop, thief! What's going on? I don't know. Let's go take a look. They got away. Oh, fuck. The, the, the German effort, folks. And we can ain't go any further. Does anyone live out here? Oh, does anyone live out here? Oh my gosh. This is hard. Of course, no. It's forbidden. Uh, or so you think. Ox, your, your two thieves are always stinking food. Oh, yeah. We'll at best go to report the theft. Oh, hi, guys. You guys stuck through during the commotion, huh? Yeah! I guess we didn't have to go through that stupid ceremony after all. But it's the stuff memories are made of. A Kodak moment. No product placement, folks. And we'll forget it all once we leave. Come on, let's press on. Yes, dearest. <laughs> all right. And onward. Oh, yeah, that hasn't happened yet. Okay. Hey, it's the thief. And she has her own theme song. What does that mean, folks? Y'all know what it means. Koopa Poo! Hurry, Mog, before we get caught. Looks like you've already got caught. Koopa! What's wrong? Oh. I gotta get the right voice. What's wrong, Bug? Koopo! Wait! Don't leave me here! Ah, stuck on a branch! Betrayed by my own trusted Moogle! Is this how I meet my end? Mark, I'm gonna haunt you if I die here! Oh! Am I hallucinating? That person has no horn! He has a tail, though. Ah! Ah, help! Don't eat me. I won't taste good. Oh, uh, you know Fabinho quite well, don't you? It's true. 
I taste awful. <laughs> you heard her for Bino. Uh, I see, too bad. But Moogle they ran away very strange color. I go find and eat it. <laughs> oh no. No, don't! Clonk! Gotcha. My hero! Thanks! Are you okay? Yeah! You're not hurt? I told you I'm okay! I'm not a child like that kid in blue! But you're three years younger than me. And that's true, actually. You're kidding! I do have a name, you know! And it's Aiko or Aiko, however you want to pronounce that. But you know this is Liverpool Football Club edition. So screw that. Um, Aiko is a white mage, just like Allison. Also has summoning powers and curing abilities. So if you have Allison as one goalkeeper, we just resigned Adrian as another goalkeeper Liverpool did. He's our third string goalkeeper, or Adrian. So yes, the two goalkeepers both begin with A, and they're both girls. Very appropriate. The name's Adrian! Shouldn't you introduce yourself before addressing a lady? You're six. You introduce yourself first. You got a problem? You got a problem. I'm Allison, and this is Mane. Yeah, what about you? I'm Gerard. I'm the captain of captains. All right. I'm just a third string goalkeeper. So why did you steal from this village anyway? I was hungry. <laughs> you sound just like Fabinho. Did he or she, or did he really go chasing after that Moogle? Oh no! Skinny Mog! I don't think Fabinho would eat a Moogle. Do you live nearby, Adrian? Yeah, be on this path! I'm sure Mog went home! So what? Why don't we take her home? Yes, yes. Anything for my lovely wife. You two are married? Yep, we're newly heads. No, we're just friends. Crap. Well, I guess that's better than nothing. <laughs> I want to be your friend too! But you're only six. Let's go to our new friend's house. Alright, before we do anything, let's pick up a treasure. We get a remedy. And on the other side... Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, I'm going the right way. I'm going the right way. Sorry, folks. There's this thing. Let's take out a blue stone. No, I don't think you can go down. You can't go down that little branch. You have to go back where he came from. And you can't hop across here for some reason. So we have to go down this way. And get our first uh, random encounter in the new area. And we have this guy go against. And... Let's watch her summon. Uh, let's get some dialogue here, folks. You will not get this dialogue if you don't summon her. Or her summon Fenrir. That's why I wanted to show off Ramu first, by the way. Now you're gonna get some dialogue that you wouldn't otherwise get. He one shot him at 960. Thought he got has more HP than that. Hey, Allison, was that an Eidolon? I think so. Adrian, can you summon magic too? Yeah, I didn't think that was it. Now, just for fun, let me show you how it's done, Adrian. 
We got a high potion. Guys yeah, want to see dueling summoners in action. There's nothing to eat from it, so I mean Fabinho's not in your party, so it doesn't matter. That's not how I would normally fight it. I just want to show dueling summoners in action, that's all. Alright. Let's keep going. Actually, now that we've done that, I want to get her um, properly equipped. I want to get, first and foremost, the Fairy Earrings. Teaches regen, body temp, and level up. Silk shirt. Uh, ability up and loud math. There you go. Hold up. What was it that taught... Wait a minute. Well, at least it wasn't at a critical moment this time with the stupid OBS. Yeah, make sure you learn that auto regen pronto. Uh, what else can I learn? Clear your head in silence. Yeah, I want to learn all these for the first go around. So let's go to ability. Equip auto regen, that's important. Ability up and level up, all those are important. And let's do the silence thing just in case, because she's by far the weakest attacker of the group. So there you go. While I'm on the screen, can we equip Allison with anything else? Now nah, I don't want auto potions, so... Alright, so let's keep going. Let's go up here. And we have a second stone. There are four of these stones in this area. You turn them all in, and you get a prize. We'll get to that in a little bit. Um, now, make sure you catch these oglops. Uh, no! I always have a hard time catching these things. So, there's a reason why we're going to try to catch one of these oglops. They're not easy to catch. Got one. Okay, second try. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually go back. Well, you know, I'll do this on screen just in case we run into any new enemies. And we did not run into any new enemies. We're going to go back to town. That's like, it's actually not that far away. So why not? Oh, we can't go that way. We could have if, if uh, we had Fabinho and Mane get married. But I don't believe in that sort of thing. So I'd rather go a very... Uh, not much, um, where am I going? Yeah, I need to go this way. Let me go to the screen. Thank you. And remember, the, the hungry guy, hungry Brian, the root runner guy. Yes, I caught a mountain oglop. Yes, you can have it. I don't eat oglop. So in return, I get an oglop card. Yay. While we're in the area... Let's go heal up while we're at an inn. All right. This is how I play the game, folks. And you're going to need all the MP you can get and then some in a little bit, folks. I don't know why I'm going this way. Oh, hey, no, it's about the same. I don't know what I'm thinking. Don't mind me, folks. 
I'm a man of contradictions. All right. Let's go back to where we were. I don't mind showing us on screen. It's not very far. And we have a new enemy here. Ochu. Ochu is weak against fire, like any other Final Fantasy game that I'm aware of. You just got slowed. Oh, uh, let's see. AJ can no longer use a summon, so... She can't do anything offensively right now. She can only, uh... 154 damage ain't much. I'm just gonna use her on attack as well. And just get as many steals as we can. We'll let Mane deal the damage here. Thorn Whip, that's no bueno. Alright, well you're dead. I'm trying to preserve both the girls H or MP as much as possible. Three experience points. You gotta be kidding me. Um, before we talk to these guys, I want you to collect all four of those stones, those four different colored stones. You'd go here to this bottom corner and insert them in this little. Pole, a totem pole looking thing. I'm gonna leave it alone for now. We're gonna come do it all in one go in a little bit, folks. So let's talk to Stiltskin here. A uh, magic tag, a tent, and an ether for your soul! Yes, you've received my soul. Alright, good job. Alright, oh Suzuna, I've got a magnet for you. All right, from Mogmat to Suzuna. It's been six months since I started living only like three screens away. The food here is great and the people are nice, but I, I'd rather say Rally Koopo instead of Rally Ho. All right, village life sounds hard just because uh, I'd rather say Rally Ho instead of Koopo. I'm going to save it. Be right back. Alright, we're back, folks. And, uh, let's continue on. Let's climb here. And we have ourselves a weird-looking tree. Rather large tree. Looks like the Death Star in tree form. Looks like the, it's got that big giant eye thing like, like in the center, like the Death Star. Gotta blow that thing up from the inside. Is that the sanctuary? Well, we'll find out. Meanwhile, what the heck? Unexpected boss time! Oh boy. I guess the Hell Gigas. Alright, this is what you want to do steal! And with Adrian. Oh, sorry. Oh, you can do that with uh, Mani as well. Oh, well. Okay. Oh, this is Adrian. Okay, this is Adrian here. Float! Everybody! Got the Phoenix down off the bat. You know what? He's um, already uh, tranced. But we're gonna waste it. 
You can just slow him. I said slow him, think. And oh, we get another. Let's see what happens when we put him to sleep. I've never tried this. So I got two. So I got two um thingies. And Kira, Alice is gonna be your healer. Um, Adrian's gonna be your floater. And Gerard is going to be your thief. Boss, that didn't work so well. The sleep work on him? Slow does. Slow well, does work on him quite a bit. Well, sleep did not. The reason why you want to be floating? Because this guy causes an earthquake. So we get the Mithril Fork pretty quickly. That's good news. Because this third thing to steal is going to take a very long time. Alright, Adrian is going to float. So keep on casting float. You have to do it every now and then. Reapply float. That's why I said you need all the MP you can get. Because this third thing to steal is the Fairy Flute. And it is... A 1 in 256 chance of stealing. I'm going to cast two slows. See if one of them gets the stick. So. Like. Last night I did a practice run of this. And I did not get it within like 30 minutes. And you could go longer than that. Without getting this fairy flute. It is extremely difficult. Even with somebody with my kind of patience. I guess I wasn't recording any of that. Um, I guess I'll explain again what, I'm, what we're supposed to be doing here. Um, gosh darn it. Alright, let's re-explain. Because I thought I was recording and I wasn't, folks. So all you need to do is keep reapplying um, float. Um, keep everyone's HP up with uh, Allison, which I'm going to do right now. Does he have the slow status? Yeah, he's still got the slow status, so go ahead and focus the Mane and keep stealing until you get absolutely lucky and obtain the Fairy Flute. So hopefully on the other side of this break, I will have the fairy flute. If for some reason I run out of patience like I did last night, um, like I said, this could take a very long time. I'll see you in a bit. Whether or not I have the fairy flute or not, you just have to find out. And finally, got the fairy flute. It took literally... 48 minutes and I am not joking all right double bio I've been holding on to this trance summon Ramu I'm gonna kick this guy's butt Wow 3200 attack Almost 3,200. That's 6,368 plus Ramu. Kill! Got my fairy flute. Now you're dead. Whoa, you're still not dead. I still have another double black up my sleeve. Bio. Bio. This is, uh, Jared hasn't attacked yet either. I don't care if you're not floating now, I don't care. You're dead! Boom! Yeah, I had a... I did it for 30 minutes. Paused my game, literally. Charged my computer. Um... 
uh, had to do some stuff, came back, and all Adrian has to say is, that big monster, that big monster just shows up from time to time. I usually just run away. But we got it. You're a pretty good fighter, Adrian. Yeah, I trained Rocky. Haha, <laughs> sorry. Thanks. How come you can use summon Adelons, Adrian? I thought you could too, Allison. Well, not usually. Have you have you always been able to do that? Of course, my grandpa and everyone else did it all the time. What do you mean? Hey, that's not the way to my house. That's the way to the Eiffel Tree. This is the way to my place. I was only looking at the mountains. <laughs> The Eiffel Tree, I thought it was called Sanctuary. No, oh, that's what the dwarves call it. Everyone else calls it the Eiffel Tree. The Eiffel Tree? Yeah, that's a, two I's, an F and an A. I always thought that was an L when I first started playing this game. I always called it Life a Tree, but it is two I's. Let's go! All right, um, yeah, we'll go to her house. Wait a minute. Before we go to her house, hold up. There's another one of those stone thingies. Take it out. We got one more stone thingy. To the left goes to her house. To the right um, goes to some more treasure. And another stone thingy, the last of the four stones. And, um, yeah. I hope I don't show any repeat battles. I'll edit them out if I, there are. And this way goes the Eiffel Tree. We're not going that way. We're going this way. We're going to go back to where we came. All right, let's see what that fairy fluid actually does for Adrian. Oh, she's still learning all that stuff. The fairy fluid teaches haste and Asuna. Asuna is going to be real nice. And the Multina racket, stone and shell. Yeah, she's got a lot of abilities learned. Let's see. I right, learned everything she could off the Lamia's tiara. So insomniac or protect let's go with let's go with protect while we can last armlet that's it I guess we're gonna learn oh antibody um still learning that still learning that okay good it's a long ways to go yeah he's learned everything he can armor wise I'm sorry, I'm just checking all the stuff. I mean, it's been hours in between uh, recordings. In the same recording, by the way. Yeah. So I'm just checking stuff. I think she's all good. Yeah, so I just have her on the coral ring. Oh! Oh, she's got a sapphire. She can learn high tide. Nice. Yeah, he's long. He can learn high tide. Anything else he can learn? Nope. And also teaches the summon Fenrir. We showed it off earlier. Okay, and of course the oak staff. All right, so yeah, we got those four stones. Now we're going to go back the way we came. So we can go and collect our reward for those four stones. Oh, y'all are still here. Okay. Yeah, now we can put those in. Red stone, check. Blue stone, check. Yellow stone, check. And greenstone check. Something came out of the back. It was a moonstone. It wasn't anything brown. <laughs> Sorry, folks. 
Couldn't help myself. All right. So now we're going to go over to Adrian's house. Yeah, yeah, this way. Sorry. And now we'll take the left fork. All right, and uh, see, we came across that bridge. And that little mount, mountain looking thing is her home. But before we go to her home, We'll see if we can uh, run into a friendly creature right here. Any new monsters, I'm going to show them off uh, at a later date. I'm not going to show any off right now. All right, here we go. We have the Yeti. He sounds so desperate for ore. He's like, give me some ore! With his uh, arms outstretched like that. Let's give him some ore, shall we? He's going to want a second piece. Watch oh, when he asks for more of his outstretched arms. He's going to look very desperate. Give me more! I want some more! <laughs> more ore! And there we go. He is so happy now. He's like, thanks! Woohoo! Yes, yeah, say hello to Nymph for me. Okay. We'll say hello to Nymph, all right. Look at all those abilities. Look at all that. Good job. All right. Now, before we end the episode, learn anything we could off that. Since that's 80, just go for that one real quick. That won't take two seconds. Oh, what's this? Um, now Insomniac, good. Okay. Probably the best thing for her is that. Okay. Silk Road, now she can learn plenty of other stuff. Cure, uh, jelly, shell, auto potion, Somniac plus 10%. Uh, that'd be a lot of MP, or AP rather. Let's go with jelly for starters, just to learn it. Now what else can she learn? Shell. Phoenix Summon, ooh, that looks nice, actually. <laughs> Auto Reflect. She's got a lot of stuff she can learn. Guardian Mog's another one. That don't take very long. Um, I want to learn Phoenix. Now, you know how... We've been collecting all those Phoenix Pinions. The more Phoenix Pinions you have, makes the, the Phoenix spell even stronger. I got him only up to that, so now she can wear it. Go back to whatever else she wants to be on. Yeah, we'll put her on the barrette since, um, what, uh, what's her name's already learned everything you can from it. Two of those. Why not? Okay. Um. Yeah, I think I think we're good. So armlet, magic armlet's a little bit better. Yeah. All right. Next time. Well, come on. There we go. Next time, we're going to go visit Ale or Adrian's home. What are we going to find there? 
Bye, next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IX.